Oh, this is Mike Massimino, former NASA astronaut. He's also the author of the best-selling book, Moonshot, a NASA astronaut's guide to achieving the impossible. Mr. Massimino, honor and a privilege to have you with us on this holiday week. I appreciate it. Uh, first of all, what can you tell us, without divulging any national security secrets, about what this, uh, this space vehicle is and why it's necessary? Well, Mike, it's a, it's a pretty cool spaceship. It's kind of like a miniature space shuttle, but it doesn't have anybody on board. So it launches into space. And unlike the space shuttle, which got its power from uh, fuel cells, which were consumable uh, liquid hydrogen and oxygen, you run out of that stuff after about two weeks, it uses for power, it uses solar panels, solar arrays. So it can stay in space for long periods of time. It's had many missions. There's two of these vehicles. They stay in space for over a year. So a year from now, we'll probably hear about a landing of this vehicle. And it's taking lots of data, doing experiments in space, and then returning them back uh, to Earth, probably in about a year or so, to be analyzed. So this, this vehicle will, can actually re-enter the atmosphere. That I actually yeah. didn't realize. Yeah. I said earlier that it was actually that it was going into orbit. I believe I was yes. mistaken when I said that. This is actually heading far, far away, much further away from the Earth's orbit, isn't it? No, no, it's going, it's going to orbit around the Earth. So it'll be up and, and orbit the Earth for, uh, and typically it's been over a year. I don't know how long this one will be up there for, but I'm assuming it'll be the same as some of the other missions they've had. And it'll land on a runway, just like the shuttle landed at the Kennedy Space Center runway. Right. This vehicle can land at that same runway or at a, a runway at uh, Vandenberg uh, Space Force Base. So, uh, but no, it goes in orbit around the planet Unmanned, no, no uncrewed, no one on board, and then we'll land automatically sometime later. Okay, let, let's look forward in, in terms of space adventures mm -hmm. and space missions to yeah. 2024. Uh, USA Today, Europa Clipper will launch to Jupiter mm -hmm. in 2024 to explore its icy moon. What can you tell us about that? That seems really amazing. It's pretty cool. Uh, the, the Europa, the moon of Jupiter, that where this uh, spacecraft is headed, is has a, an icy crust, but oceans underneath, huge oceans, larger than all the oceans uh, on Earth combined. So wow. a lot of a lot of scientists think that life began in the oceans here on Earth. So by studying what's going on on Europa, we might find out about how life formed here on Earth and how life can form other places uh, in the universe. We, we're pretty sure there's no life there on Europa, but. Uh, but certainly we're going to learn a lot more about the building blocks of life that we think are present there. So I think it's pretty exciting. That's pretty fascinating. I, I, I want to ask you about SpaceX yeah. uh, and its relationship with NASA. You, of course, are a former astronaut. How do you feel about SpaceX, uh, sort of the private company, taking over this role of launching secret U.S. military uh, uh, satellites uh, into, uh, not satellites, but vehicles into orbit? Well, SpaceX is a launch vehicle. As you mentioned, they mentioned they launched, you mentioned they, uh, we've talked about the, they launched the X-37, a military payload, but they also launched Starlink satellites. They also launched my friends into space now. Astronauts launch, American astronauts launch into yeah. space on a SpaceX vehicle. So they've been uh, very credible. They've, they've done some amazing things. I think they've had like 95 launches just this past year. Yeah. So they're doing some really amazing things, not, not just for the military. You know, it's, I think just a small portion of it, but also for commercial ventures and also for NASA. Yeah, that Starlink system is amazing. In the media, we use it a lot, too. It's that mm -hmm. web of low-orbit uh, satellites where you can transmit uh, just about anything. It's from military and media applications. Yeah. Okay, Mike Massimino, thank you very you much bet. for joining us. You have a happy new year Thanks, and a great Mike. weekend. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.